the rapid development of unmanned combat systems has dramatically transformed the face of warfare in a very short time. From the first remotely operated reconnaissance drones to AI-enabled autonomous weapon systems capable of operating in swarms, drones have become a firmly established component of modern armed forces. In this 3D animation, several of the most current UCAVs, loitering munitions, and maritime UUV drones are presented, with a focus on their technical details and specific capabilities. At the same time, it is difficult to show all relevant systems, as the market is continually seeing new military drones. The Duran-2, also known as the Shahed-136, is a Russian long-range kamikaze and loitering munition of Iranian origin. Around 3.5 meters long with a 2.5 meter wingspan, weighing about 200 kilograms and carrying a 30 to 50 kilogram warhead, cruising near 185 kilometers per hour, out to roughly 1,000 to 2,500 kilometers. It uses a simple rear pusher propeller with GPS GLONASS guided waypoints and inertial backup is highly cost optimized and has been mass produced since 2022 to 2023 as a cheap, expendable weapon in Ukraine and the Middle East. The Duran-2 is employed in large salvos against infrastructure, energy sites, cities, and air defense systems to saturate defenses and deplete expensive interceptors. With multiple warhead options and steadily improved electronics and EW resistance, the Jaren-3, also known as the Shahid-238, is a modernized Russian-Iranian kamikaze loitering munition of similar size to the Jaren-2, with an estimated weight above 200 kilograms, a 300 kilogram warhead, realistic ranges of about 1,000 kilometers, and speeds up to around 600 kilometers per hour, thanks to a turbojet engine. It uses CRPA-protected satellite navigation, terrain referencing, and a data link is optimized for high-speed dash attacks with improved jamming resistance and has been fielded in larger numbers since 2025 as a much tougher target for modern air defenses. The Jaren 3 is intended for deeper strikes on high-value assets such as air defense sites, command posts, and radars, typically employed in smaller numbers with EOIR or radar homing seekers. Enhanced navigation, a reduced radar signature, and a six times heavier warhead than the Jaren 2. The Switchblade 600 is a U.S. loitering anti-armor munition about 1.3 meters long with a 1.4 meter wingspan, weighing around 29.5 kilograms and carrying a Javelin-class tandem multi-purpose warhead with ranges up to roughly 90 kilometers and maximum speeds near 185 kilometers per hour. It is electrically powered, tube-launched, and guided via GPS and a real-time video link enabling continuous operator control, target reselection, and cooperative use in loosely coordinated swarms, and has been fully fielded with US, Ukrainian, and other NATO forces since around 2023, 2024. The Switchblade 600 is used by small teams for precision anti-tank and anti-structure strikes on distant high-value ground targets with minimal collateral damage, operating as a quiet, hard to detect wing drone with an EOIR seeker by man in the loop control. The Lancet 3 is a Russian loitering kamikaze UAV from Zala Aero Kalashnikov, about 1.5 meters long, weighing around 12 kilograms and carrying a three kilogram high explosive or fragmentation warhead, offering roughly 40 kilometers range. Cruising at about 100 kilometers per hour with higher terminal speeds, it uses GPS GLONASS navigation, a video link, and semi-autonomous electro-optical target selection, and has been in combat use since 2019 with continuous upgrades, becoming a mass-produced standard weapon. The Lancet 3 serves as a hunter-killer loitering munition in the tactical depth, striking artillery, radar, air defense units, and vehicles with its X-shaped wing, electric propulsion, EO targeting sensor, partial AI-driven recognition, and compact, hard-to-engage airframe. The CH-901 is a Chinese mini-loitering kamikaze drone about 1.2 meters long with a 2-meter wingspan, weighing roughly 9 kilograms and carrying an approximately 3-kilogram fragmentation or shaped charge warhead, typically achieving around 15 kilometers range at a cruise to target speed of 180 kilometers per hour. It is an electrically powered, small, fixed wing system 
launched from carrier UAVs such as Jutian or from ground launchers, using a video RF link for operator control with partial autonomous recognition and swarm coordination, and has been deployed in significant numbers since around 2022. The CH-901 supports ground forces against infantry, light vehicles, and field positions, designed as a compact, low-cost rocket-like drone with EO camera optimized for massed swarming attacks. The Helsing HX-2 is a German AI-enabled loitering attack drone, about 1.125 meters long, with a one-meter wingspan, weighing roughly 12 kilograms, and carrying up to 4.5 kilograms of warhead, with ranges up to 100 kilometers and a top speed near 250 kilometers per hour. Electrically powered with a quiet X-wing layout, it is optimized for mass production as an expendable system launched from trucks or mobile racks and has been in serial output since late 2024, with operational use in Ukraine from 2025. The HX-2 is a tactical one-way strike drone for engaging tanks, artillery, vehicle columns, and fortifications, used individually or in swarms, featuring AI-driven map-based navigation independent of GNSS, very high jamming resistance, onboard image-based target identification, and full swarm integration via the Helsing Ultra C2 command and control system. The Hero 30 is the smallest member of the Hero loitering munitions family, an Israeli-German short-range system weighing about 3.9 kilograms with a 0.5 kilogram warhead and a maximum range of roughly 40 kilometers, offering up to about 40 minutes endurance on a low noise electric motor. It is launched from trucks or mobile racks, supports man-in-the-loop, semi-autonomous and manual operating modes via a secure encrypted BLOSS data link, and uses an advanced EOIR camera system. The Hero 30 is an ultra-portable loitering munition for dismounted forces, optimized to quickly neutralize personnel or light vehicles in dense urban, open, or mountainous terrain. It features a compact, lightweight design with different warhead types, multiple fuse options, and can abort or re-engage targets mid-mission, minimizing collateral damage. The Cargo 2 is a Turkish backpack portable loitering munition introduced around 2020 after first flight tests from 2017. It is a quadcopter about 60 centimeters across and weighing just over seven kilograms with a 10 kilometer range, roughly 25 minutes endurance and top speeds near 72 kilometers per hour. It is designed by STM for asymmetric warfare and counterinsurgency, operated by a single soldier in autonomous or manual modes, and uses EOIR camera with optical zoom plus onboard image processing and machine learning algorithms for target identification and tracking. The Cargo 2 can be fitted with different anti-personnel and anti-armor warheads, is capable of day and nighttime precision strikes on moving or static targets, supports in-flight mission aboard and self-destruct, and has been combat used by Turkish forces in Syria and Libya, and reportedly by Azerbaijan in Nagorno-Karabakh. The MBDA one-way effector is a European long-range kamikaze and saturation drone from France in development since 2024, unveiled at the 2025 Paris Air Show, and planned for production from about 2027, roughly three meters long with a similar wingspan and an estimated 40 kilogram high explosive fragmentation or anti-structure warhead, powered by a turbojet for speeds around 400 kilometers per hour and ranges near 500 kilometers. It is launched from ground ramps or vehicle mounted salvo systems. It uses GPS-based waypoint guidance. The one-way effector is designed as a simple, turbine-powered, expendable drone for large-scale saturation strikes against air defense sites, radar, and infrastructure, prioritizing range, standardized payloads, and massed salvo fire over complex onboard sensors to open corridors for high-value strike assets. The MQ-1 Predator is a U.S. male unmanned reconnaissance and strike aircraft introduced in the mid-1990s, about 8.2 meters long with a 14.8 meter wingspan and a maximum takeoff weight of roughly 1,020 kilograms, powered by a single Rotax 914F piston engine to speeds of about 215 kilometers per hour 
ranges up to 1,250 kilometers, an endurance of around 24 hours. Its sensor suite includes the multi-spectral targeting system with EOIR cameras, laser designator, and optional SAR radar, linked via C-band and KU-band data links to a ground control station with pilot and sensor operator. And it became a milestone platform that defined modern remotely piloted warfare and paved the way for the MQ-9 Reaper. The MQ-9 Reaper is a U.S. mail reconnaissance and strike UAV introduced in 2007, around 11 meters long with a 20.1 meter wingspan and a maximum takeoff weight of about 4,763 kilograms, driven by a Honeywell TPE-331 turboprop delivering up to roughly 480 kilometers per hour, altitudes to about 15,000 meters, ranges beyond 1,850 kilometers, and endurance up to around 27 hours. It can carry about 1,800 kilograms of payload on nine hardpoints, typically up to eight AGM-114 Hellfires, plus GBU-12 and other precision munitions, and can be fitted with auxiliary fuel tanks for extended reach. The Reaper's MTSB Multispectral Sensor Package, SAR Radar, and Secure LOS-BLOS data links support persistent ISR, target designation, and precision strike, making it a key armed ISR and close air support asset in theaters from Afghanistan and Iraq to Libya, Syria, and Ukraine, and in service with multiple NATO air forces. The Helsing CA-1 is a German-European stealth UCAV, about 11 meters long with a 10 meter wingspan and a maximum takeoff weight around four tons. Designed as a reusable multi-role combat drone with an internal weapons bay for precision-guided bombs and air-to-surface or air-to-air -air missiles such as SDB, Taurus, Brimstone, or Meteor. It is conceived for projected ranges beyond 2,000 kilometers and high subsonic up to potential supersonic speeds, combining stealth shaping, electronic warfare capabilities, and multi-mission flexibility within the broader FCA's ecosystem with first flight plan from 2027. The CA-1 uses Helsing's Centaur AI architecture for fully autonomous mission management with a human on the loop option, supports swarm coordination and leader roles for other crewed or uncrewed aircraft, and is intended as a next generation command and strike drone rather than a one-way weapon, optimized for serial production and repeated high-risk sorties. The GJ-11 Sharp Sword is a Chinese stealth UCAV developed by AVIC Hongdu, about 12 meters long with a 14 meter wingspan and a maximum takeoff weight around 20 tons, powered by a single turbofan such as the WS-13 to high subsonic speeds, approximately Mach 0.7 to 0.9. Ranges beyond 1,500 kilometers and mission durations of up to roughly six hours. It features a flying wing design with radar absorbent materials, an internal bay for up to about two tons of precision bombs and air to surface missiles, and an extremely low radar cross section, and has been in PLA service since the early 2020s after prototype flights from 2019. The GJ-11 supports autonomous flight with AI-assisted decision-making, encrypted SATCOM for mission control, real-time sensor fusion and targeting, multi-role missions in strike, ISR, and electronic warfare, and integration as a loyal wingman element for manned fighters, contributing directly to China's broader A2AD strategy. The Bayraktar TB2 is a Turkish tactical male combat and reconnaissance UAV introduced around 2014, about 6.5 meters long with a 12 meter wingspan and a maximum takeoff weight of roughly 700 kilograms, powered by a 100 horsepower class piston engine for cruise speeds near 130 to 220 kilometers per hour maximum. Service ceilings around 8,000 meters and mission durations of up to 27 hours. With a payload of around 150 kilograms on four hardpoints, it typically carries MAM, LMAMC, precision micro munitions, CIRIT rockets, and weapons such as the Kamankesh cruise missile, supported by EOIR sensors, laser designator, redundant flight control, automatic takeoff and landing, and encrypted LOS-BLOS communications. The TB2 is widely exported and has been valued for its modularity and low operating cost and reliability. 
The Bayraktar Kizilelma is a Turkish carrier-capable stealth UCAV by Baykar, about 14.7 meters long with a 10-meter wingspan, around 6 tons maximum takeoff weight, and roughly 1,500 kilograms payload in internal bays and on wing hardpoints. In its Kizilelma A version, it uses a single turbofan for high subsonic flight, with later variants planned for supersonic performance, giving it a combat range of about 900 to 1,000 kilometers and an endurance of roughly five to six hours. It features a low observable canard delta airframe with twin canted tails, internal weapon bays, and the national Murad ASA radar, plus planned IRST, distributed aperture and missile warning systems, designed for autonomous takeoff and landing, and for satellite LOS-controlled loyal wingman roles, it integrates weapons like air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-surface missiles, and MAM smart munitions. The XBAT is a large, stealthy VTOL collaborative combat aircraft from Shield AI, about 8 meters long with an 11.8 meter wingspan, powered by an F-16 class turbofan for near supersonic speeds of roughly Mach 0.8 to 1.2, and an effective weapons-loaded range of around 3,700 kilometers. It has folding wings and uses a tail-sitting vertical takeoff and landing concept from a trailer-mounted ramp. The cranked kite stealth airframe combines two internal bays and external hardpoints for a mix of air-to-air -air and air-to-surface precision weapons and is paired with a multi-mode radar, passive sensors, and integrated EW apertures for ISR, air combat, and strike roles. At its core is Shield AI's Hivemind Autonomy System, enabling GPS-independent navigation and largely automated missions while a human remains in the loop for lethal decisions. With initial VTOL demo flights planned around 2026 and a full-up configuration toward 2028. The Piranha KUSV is a Turkish kamikaze unmanned surface vessel from MKE, around four to five meters long with a displacement of approximately 300 to 400 kilograms, carrying a 65 kilogram high explosive penetrator warhead, achieving speeds over 50 knots and ranges exceeding 200 nautical miles. It uses a diesel-powered water jet propulsion system, is designed for rapid deployment from coastal or ship-based launchers, and has been in testing since 2025 for asymmetric naval warfare. The Piranha is employed against enemy surface ships, fast attack craft, landing boats, and port facilities, often in swarms to overwhelm defenses, or act as a first wave ahead of more advanced munitions. Featuring semi-autonomous or remote control with GNSS navigation using jamming-resistant CRPA receivers, an EO camera, and a composite hull with low radar signature for stealthy approaches, followed by high-speed ramming impacts. The Tale is a Turkish maritime sea-skimming kamikaze drone developed for coastal and fleet operations. Approximately three meters long, with a roughly 2.8 meter wingspan, with a maximum takeoff weight of 60 kilograms, and equipped with a 30 kilogram configurable warhead, cruising at low altitudes with speeds up to 200 kilometers per hour and an operating time of three hours. It employs a wing and ground effect design with an integrated jet or impeller engine, is optimized for mass production as an expendable system launched from shore or naval platforms, and entered service around 2025, particularly suited for Black Sea and littoral environments. The Tale targets ships, harbors, and radar installations by flying just centimeters above the water to evade detection using AI-assisted navigation, foldable wings for compact storage, reduced radar cross-section, and variable warheads for precise strikes. Drones are rapidly transforming the battlefield delivering precision, flexibility, and intelligence to every domain. I'm glad you joined me on this journey through the future of unmanned systems. If you found this video interesting or learned something new, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment below and share which drone or technology caught your eye. Don't forget to subscribe so we can explore more breakthroughs together. See you next time.